What's going on you guys? Today we got the O2 Cummins here and we're going to be doing some nice upgrades to the truck. I got some new tow and mirrors from Boost Auto Parts and uh, here I'm going to show you guys. Let's take a look at these bad boys. From Boost Auto Parts, really nice mirrors. These are some high quality stuff and look at this. We're going to be upgrading the O2 to some 4th gen style mirrors. Look at that. That's going to be awesome. And the cool thing about these is look at my truck. I got fully manual. I got crank windows manual mirrors, everything like that. These are power folding. So we're gonna get power folding and we're gonna be wiring up this to get the LED turn signals to work on this. So that'll be pretty awesome because I do park in a garage and you know, I've already hit my mirrors. You guys could take a look right here. Like this is like the second time I've replaced this one. Cause another thing too, you can't really get high quality mirrors anymore. These things have a distortion in them right here. And you know, these are from like rock auto. I've got them from Amazon. This is like my third mirrors on these truck. And even these ones I've hit pulling into the garage, actually more just when I back out and cause it's really tight and I have to park next to another vehicle. So I'm really excited to get power folding mirrors and some fourth gen style on the O2. It's not only going to look better, it's going to have way better visibility with a bigger blind spot mirror there. So we got the nicer fourth gen style. It's going to be a pretty big install. I'm going to go over everything. First things first, you got to take off. If you have manual windows here like I do, you get some pliers in there and you just pop off this little clip in there and these will literally just pop right off. I take off these two screws down in here and the screw up here and uh, we'll pop that off. So let's get right started on that. Look, I already started on the passenger side, just ran through it real quick. That way I can kind of show you guys on the driver, but look at that. Already looks so much better. I mean, just the design flips out. I don't know. I, I like the fourth gen style. I think it looks actually really good on this truck and uh, just way more quality feeling. But I have a link down in the description below. Check it out. It's a link to these mirrors. You can build out your own mirrors to, you know, exactly how you want them for your truck. Go check out that link, Boost Auto Parts. And uh, yeah, let's go through the whole install here on the driver's side. Take this screw and then these two right here out, out of the little cup handle thing. Next you wanna do is get your little door trim tool because we're gonna pop off all the clips around this. And on the passenger side, I already put that one in. You guys can see all the wiring there. Um, you wanna put something behind this. So when you're popping off those clips, they can be pretty tough. And I actually dented my door at the bottom. So you wanna put something behind it for at least the bottom ones. But if you guys are just looking here, you just kind of start pulling all this back and uh, see there's yellow clips all in here. You just pop those out and just keep going all the way down. Just pop them all out. At least started. See, look, I just put a little ding in there. I want to put something behind it. That or use the plastic ones if you got those. Once you got all those off, all you gotta do is kind of just lift up on the door. And as for the door handle, you can kind of just pull it and just get it out like this. Don't really have to, it's not, you know, it's pretty easy to get off. If you have the power windows, now you're gonna wanna disconnect the wiring right there. Obviously I'm full manual everything, so I got no wiring. After you get the door panel off, all you wanna do is just zip these three 10 millimeters off. It'd be nice to also have someone hold the mirror, that way it doesn't fall. And there you go, it comes right off. The other mirror's off, I just took this, this bracket comes kind of pre-installed on here, you just take that off, we'll put that on after. You wanna slide this grommet up here on this wiring harness, kind of get it up closer there. And once you get it worked up there, we'll be ready to install it. Again, you wanna have someone kind of holding the mirror in there while you just put it in place. This is also a good time since you got it off to go in here and just kind of clean this up, that way it's all clean underneath and you're not you know, trapping that dirt in there, you know, might as well, since you're here. And also I'm gonna do the same on the inside. Just make sure this is nice and clean. Look at all this dirt just right here in the door jam. Oh yeah, it all clean. Run these wires through here and just run those through and you get the uh, new mirror lined up. There we go, tilt it down, push it through. And there we go, and you get these nuts and you just put those on and you kind of just slowly pull it all the way through. And then you wanna do the rest uh, hand tight, just to make sure you don't over tighten them. Now if this is all installed, you're gonna wanna come down here, 
take out these three screws. They should be right underneath. And then I do have this trailer brake controller, so I am going to unplug it here as well, just to get that off. And then all you gotta do on this is just pull this out. You might also wanna just tilt up your steering column, give you some more room. And that just comes right off. You don't have to take anything else off there. Obviously, I got a bunch of switches in here already, so it's gonna make this a little tougher. We're gonna have to take these off to mount our switch for the power folding. Next, we also wanna get these off, the uh, grommet for the door. So you wanna take this off. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, mine's Arizona, so it's kind of dry rotted, so it's not that easy. I might need to go get a little pick to take it off. Something like this, and just get in there and you can kind of work it off. Yeah, mine's a little more crustier than probably most. Just pops right out. And I only got one little wire going for the speaker, so a lot of there, you guys will have a lot more. And then for this one, there's some clips in here. You kind of got to get those off. Hey guys, so I disconnected my switches here, got that out, and now I'm running these wires through. So we got the cable disconnected and got me a little, uh, this is actually off of a windshield wiper blade and tied it up. And now we're running this cable through here. I can pull that through, there we go. So that one's here, that's for the mirror. That'll plug in right there to this bottom one with the, uh, you got the blue and the yellow, blue and the yellow. So I can take that off, I'll have to take that tape off and that'll plug in there. And then now all we need to do is for the signal light. Now just run it through the loom here. And you'll do all the same stuff for the passenger side, which I've already done. Got these wires, they are routed in right here, routed right here. We can plug this back into the uh, body connector there. Um, if you have power windows and mirrors, you'll have another connector, so you'll have to run it through these little square holes in the corners. Um, obviously manual windows, so I got plenty of room there. And you don't really need to take this off, you can just run it in through there. You have a nice little access hole, if you guys can see right there to get it through. So don't really need to take that off. Wire here from the passenger side for the signal lights. Got it from the driver's side here. And we're gonna run that up. There's a little grommet basically right up in there. You guys can kind of see it right there. What is it? Get my finger right there. We're gonna run it up through there, through into the engine bay so we can do the signal lights. So we're gonna get that out of the way here shortly, but okay, so we're gonna run these wires through that grommet. That's gonna be the passenger and the driver signal lamp. So those are gonna get ran through. And then these wires, this one's coming from the passenger side, this one from the driver's side. This will plug into the switch. And then we got these two right here. This is a ground, we're gonna ground this to one of these screws right here. Then this red wire, we're gonna run into the little fuse panel right here with the little tap we got. Got these routed to where passenger blue, I actually put it up over the steering column there and it's coming out right here. I just have them kind of around the brake pedal to hold them there. But this is the passenger side blue, driver side orange and blue. And now I got these out. These are gonna be routed through the firewall. This orange is the passenger side. We're gonna tap that into this blue after we get that ran over. I'm leaving like some slack right up here and then I have the black wire, which I guess these are grounds for both sides. Here's the passenger, here's the driver. I'm gonna be grounding those up in here also. So pretty simple. Once we get these through the firewall, then all we gotta do is just do the switch control with this stuff down here. Actually is you know, pretty simple. We cut off quite a bit from the ends of all these, like the extra of the black, the extra of this orange, because you don't really need all that, too much of it. And yeah, should have this all squared away. Once I get that ran through, we're just gonna push it through up in there. Then I will kinda show how we connected it all up. And uh, we're actually pretty much ready. All I gotta do is connect these here, um, these two connections. I already plugged that one in actually. So that one's plugged in. Plug this one in right here. I'm gonna zip tie these together. Same thing on the passenger side. And uh, the door panel is actually ready to go on and I could probably seal this all up too. So I'm gonna get right on that. Just put this together, it's real simple. This one just kind of plugs in. Gotta plug that connector back in right there. 
for getting your switch in um they put theirs down here i put mine up here because i already had these other little holes we took this out this was from an old propane injection system definitely use a dremel because uh we didn't have one and we use a jigsaw and this plastic is very brittle in it kind of like just cracked all right there but switches in and as you can see it works if i had a stable surface to hold this it'll work and uh yeah that's where my switch is going to be okay, as you can see a lot of stuff is cleaner got it all bundled up right here and uh yeah got it grounded and ran the red wire going up to our little fuse door here we'll handle that here shortly and we got the green wire coming back i just ran it right up through here coming right up to my switch, which will be right there. My switch should be right there. So now we're gonna drop the panel in, plug it in, and uh, should be about done under here. There we go, got that. And then this kind of back up in there. And done, look at that. Easy as can be. Now all you gotta do is just put our three screws in back underneath here, one, two, and three. Okay, so now all you gotta do, take this wire, we're gonna actually shorten it up because we got a lot of wire here, and we're just gonna cut the wire and uh, put it into this little connector, and we gotta take out the number six fuse right here, which I have this in for my Quadzilla, so it's actually perfect. It goes right in next to it right there, so they'll be right next to each other, and that'll work out perfectly. Okay, so now that I got all that done, as you can see in there, got them both in. I just tested it, it works, pretty excited. So awesome, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> got a truck with manual windows and I got awesome power folding mirrors. That's gonna be so convenient pulling into the garage. But now it's time to just put this panel on, real simple. You really just gotta kind of reach in here, get this door handle and just kind of fish it through. Real simple, just like that. And then now you just push all these clips on, wanna make sure your door lock is also in and literally just push them all in. If you have power mirrors, power windows, you wanna make sure you plug all those back in, you know, right before you just did that. And then, yeah, now you just line all these up and start just pushing them all in. There we go, perfect. Just make sure it's out of the way when you roll it all the way up, perfect. Now for running the parking lights and the turn signal lights, Got the wires coming through. There's the blue wire over in the passenger side because we combined the uh, orange wire. So we have just one orange wire for the driver's side. Just gotta take out these three 10 millimeters, one there, one down there, and one back over here. Real simple, just take those out. So on the driver's side here, ran both the orange and blue wire. The orange wires is gonna to go to the middle pin number two, and that is the black with the yellow stripe. And then the blue wire is gonna to go to, on both the driver and passenger side, to pin three, which on my truck is a green wire with a tan stripe. And that one, as you guys also see here, because it's labeled to ground, minor, and major. So major is your turn signal light, Minor is the running light, and that's your ground. So pretty simple and easy to do. Uh, we got the provided from Boost Auto Parts. They got the T-taps here. We're gonna T-tap both of those wires, the green and tan and the yellow and black, and then put on our little guys right here. If you guys can see, I already did it on the passenger side. Got it all wired up correctly. I even shrinked it on the blue wire to the fuse, the little box. T-tap here to the green with the tan on it. So that should be the parking light. Once I get the driver's side done, we're gonna test these before I put them back in, make sure everything's all good, and uh, we should be good to go. I heat shrinked them both on, got that one going to the black with the yellow, and this one going with the tan and the green, the blue wire. So now we're all ready to give this a shot and try it, and uh, see how the mirrors look, how the lights work and everything. So let's try it out before we put this back together. And there we go, you guys, look at that. Got it working, just turn the flashers on. And look at that, that is awesome. They're working. Oh man, let's see about the uh, just running lights. Running lights on, look at that, all amber. Oh, this will be nice, can't wait to get it put together. That is perfect, and turn signal. Oh, nice, look at that, get them both in there. 
Perfect. Easy, honestly, really easy install. Just takes a little bit of time. Boost Auto Parts mirrors, look at that. Ooh, fancy, that's good. Let's just see the running one. Look at that, that's awesome. That is great right there. Ooh, looks good. Man, power folding. Man, there it is with the headlights. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Love it. It's actually really cool though. Safer too. Perfect. Looks good. I got to pull into my garage and look at this. Boost Auto Parts mirrors. Best absolute part. Look at this. All I got to do is press a button. Oh my goodness. So much easier than having to try to like finagle it in there. Look at that. Oh, so much more convenient having to pull into the garage here now just being able to power fold the mirrors and easily be able to come right in. Like, so much better. Look at that, and stop. Perfect. Every time, easy. Here's, look at this, just able to press it. Ah, oh, perfect for pulling in the garage. Just absolutely amazing. These lights are so cool too, very bright. Wanted to do a little comparison, you guys, here. Driving on the freeway. Here's the, uh, just, you know, Amazon Rock Auto, you know, cheap mirrors. They look kind of probably fine in the picture, but they're a little shaky, you can't really see anything, but these Boost Auto mirrors, it is like an HD image over there. It is insane how steady and smooth they are. Like that is high quality, that is OEM. If not, I've seen this, this is better than OEM. Like I've never seen a mirror not shake at all. And you know, I'm going you know, on highway speeds and this mirror over here, you know, it's pretty good, but still has vibration in it. Whereas that Boost Auto parts mirror just has absolutely nothing. Just great, absolutely great.